Hey, happy Sunday, guys. I'm gonna make a quick pepper steak and some potato salad. And I got uh, leftover zucchini and onions and with the squash up we made the other night with the pork chop. So I've already uh, cleaned my steak off and chopped up some onion and bell pepper and garlic. So we're gonna season the steak with some salt and pepper. Salt. I'm gonna use a little cayenne pepper because I like a little heat. And I got some thyme and basil. I'm gonna add in here just a little bit now. You all know how cayenne pepper can be. And a little black pepper. And that's another reason why you only need a little bit. I got my potatoes already cooked. Rub that in there a little bit. Flip it over. Wipe my hands because I'm going in my salt. Okay. Make sure you salt it good. And taste it. And all basically we're going to get our flavor from is our meat. So that's one of Okay. And the peppers and onion, of course. I use the green pepper. You can use whatever color you want, but I just believe that uh Green pepper is the strongest of the sweet peppers. Red and uh, yellow and all that. Yeah, it's. Let me brush my hand. Yeah, it's uh, pretty. And all that. I got my eggs on for my potato salad. Take those off. And just start those cooling down. taste in there. Yeah. I finally got my house ready, all the way ready for Christmas. And then I'll be baking tomorrow. We'll be together tomorrow, guys. And I got a bag. I'm going to bake my, I'm going to do a uh, dark cherry and chocolate cake trifle for my dessert for Christmas. It's going to be delish. It's very elegant. You know, you want something elegant for Christmas. We put a little uh, basil in here. Some basil leaves. It's whole. It don't matter. You don't have to, you know, cut these up. You don't have to chop them or anything. It's quick and fast, but very tasty. Okay. Just pick those off. And I got a little time. Just pick those off. It don't matter. Even if a little of the stem go in there, it's not going to hurt anything. The stem has lots of flavor. So, if it little go in there, it's not going to hurt anything. Not a thing, not a thing, not a thing. <laughs> I hope your holiday season is going as well as mine. 
I'm having a good time. I'm resting today, though. I sure am. Because I know I'll be busy the rest of the week. Okay. Let's get some of this under here. And get some of that delicious flavor under there. And then you're going to uh, put aluminum foil a little bit really tight. So you don't want any of that flavor to escape. There we go. Usually I would put Worcestershire sauce, but I don't have any. I got to get some when I go shopping tomorrow for the rest of my meal. I got my meat. I picked that up yesterday after I came from RJ's um, basketball game. He is quite the little player. <laughs> he can really play basketball. Yes, he can. He called me up and asked me to come. <laughs> and of course, I, I couldn't uh, refuse. I got up and went. Okay. There we go. We got plenty of onions and I can use the rest of that and put the rest of our garlic on top. And basically, we put a little extra virgin olive oil because you know round steak has no fat. And you gotta have a little fat in there. So put the rest of that on top. Get all the flavor in there we can. Put a little bit of this on top. I don't want too much. And I'm going to add a little water. So we get some type of broth off of it. Take my little foil and seal it as tight as I can get it. You no know, round steak is tough, so well, it's gonna have to cook for a while, at least an hour and a half. And while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and make my potato salad. You know, people make their potato salad all different ways. And basically, they are making this up to you. And then we go on 350. Let it rip. Down on 375. Okay, let's clean this up a little bit. Okay. Got my powder. Use my leftover veggie. I'm gonna have. I don't have that many potatoes, it's just me. You know. Okay. Here we 
come. Grab something to make it in. This is going to be smelling so good in here. A little sugar, I like a little sugar in there. And I put sweet relish in it, but I drain my relish so that it doesn't make my um, potato salad watery. And I also, that's the reason why I cook my potatoes, <clears throat> excuse me, in the microwave instead of boiling it. So it doesn't be watery. I can't stand watery potato salad. Yep. I might as well use the rest of this up. Just bought a new jar. There we go. Let that drain. On the top. Drain that water out of there. And that'll be drained by the time I get ready to use it. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> I got a little cold. All right. I'm just going to get the skin off of these right quick. Easy to peel to and then the microwave and get my ass so I can see what I'm doing. Hope you guys had a good day today. I did all my house cleaning and dusting and putting out the fruit and nuts and candy and all that good stuff. And me. Mommy coming. Sound like you calling me. Here I come. You guys hear him. He'll call me when he's ready to come in. And he's very impatient. Okay. <laughs> He's a demanding little thing. Okay. Basically, get the idea. I like my rough cut. I don't like like mashed potatoes for potato salad. down and get him and so I'll be right back. Let me get him. A little fussy cell. Alright, I'm back. I've chopped the little onion to go in the potato salad. Now I'm going to chop some celery to go in. Sometimes I'll put some red bell pepper. I'm not really worried about bell pepper today because we're doing pepper steak and that's enough bell pepper. There we go. And of course, 
I got my leaves over here. I got some celery leaves and a little more of the stalk of celery to go in. back up. Okay. You just put that directly in the bowl. Okay. You guys can see what I'm doing. Put our onions in. I'm not putting a whole lot of onion because I'm going to garnish it with green onion. in here. I plan on sitting here all night. Once you see this technique I'm doing as I'm doing the eggs, you crack them and roll them. Gently roll them. That should make the shell a little bit easier to get off. See? There we go. And then I still rinse it though, make sure all the shell is off. over here at the same time, wipe them over here, okay, all right, get rid of that, and grab my, this is a tomato slicer, but I use it for slicing my boiled eggs. And it works perfect for that. See? as much as I would have liked it to, but it still did good enough. Put the relish in. I just want that pickle flavor off of there, really. Because when you drain it, you take most of the sweet syrup off of it. So, that's okay. That's why I add a little sugar. Okay. Now, 
Just put it together. Remember, I told you that I'll use half kosher salt and half table salt. Kosher salt because it's good and don't have all the chemicals, and a little table salt because we need the iodine in it. And then I'm mixing it up. We gotta have iodine in our diet, guys. Okay. We can taste it. If we need more, we'll get more. Okay. A black pepper. Okay. And just a little garlic salt. I like garlic. Put in there everything just about. Okay. We need a lot. And then of course, get your yellow mustard. Go whatever can you like in your potato salad. I like that part on there, that little dry part. Get the all. our miracle whip. Miracle Whip, but of course, I'm sure it cannot be dry. Okay. Okay. That's a good soldier now. to sugar. Okay. Okay. Definitely enough miracle with on there now. Folding it because I don't want to tear up all my potatoes. I know I'm eating potato salad. 
not mashed potatoes. Main thing is to let your potato salad get cold. That way all your flavors marry together. And it's good like that. There we go. Let's see what we got here. That's good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Everything perfect. I don't need to add anything to anything. That's good. Messed up. Put my little garnish on there. Mm. That's delicious. Okay. That's good, y'all. Let me clean up my bowl. <laughs> That's gonna be really good with that pepper steak. And the zucchini, everything. Take a go around and clean up your bowl. Smoke paprika on top of this. There we go. I think I'll put my onion on first. Let me just chop a couple of these. Hurry up, because I'm ready to eat. I sure am.
temptation. Let them all know to love honey like I do. I love honey. And I love smoked paprika. There we go. Garnish a little bit with some smoked paprika. There we go. And you got your delicious potato salad. because I got to bake tomorrow. And he going 